Hi, this is Bill Bass. Today I want to show you a little bit about Evernote, how I use it, the different ways that it can be used, and talk a little bit about how it can be used with kids in a classroom. If you're not familiar with Evernote, what Evernote does is it's a notebook type of software. So imagine, if you will, that you have a notebook and you have those pages in the notebook that you can take notes in. That's what Evernote really does. And so as they say at Evernote.com, this is your opportunity to remember everything. So you can capture anything, you can access it anywhere, and you can find things fast. And this is absolutely true. So capturing anything I use my phone to take pictures, I can put it on Evernote. I take notes inside of Evernote and I can access those from different places. Anything that I want to remember, I can put inside of Evernote from PDFs, pictures, to web pages and links and all of those different passwords, all those different things that you use on a regular basis that you want to remember. The next thing is you can access that anywhere. Basically. If you have a, an internet connection, chances are you're going to be able to get on to Evernote. So you can use it from a computer, mobile devices. I use it from my phone, my iPad, my computers. Use it from a lot of different places. And all that information syncs across all of those different devices so that I can always find and have access to the information that I need. And then finally, they have this great search feature where you can search by both keyword or tag anything that is if it can recognize the text you can find it using Evernote so let's go in to my Evernote and this is the interface when you sign up for Evernote and you get an account if you download the software this is the interface for the software the software does it runs locally on your machine so that you can in fact take notes directly in here and always have all of your stuff in this one piece of software. So rather than having notes spread out over your computer in different Word documents that you can't find because you can't search to them, this brings it all together in one spot. And so right up here in the upper left hand corner you're gonna see that these are my notebooks and inside these notebooks you have different notes. So here is my notebook for my graduate class that I am currently taking and so I have six different notes inside that notebook okay and then you can make sub notebooks so here are the five notes for a particular class so this helps me organize myself kind of like folders but everything's in the same piece of software in the same interface so this is one way that you can access it and as you can see if I pull down here to this note these are notes that I took for as you can see right up here chapters one through three and what I did was I took screenshots and I just pulled the pictures that I wanted that I wanted to remember into Evernote. So I could have done this with a phone, I could have done this on the computer if it's a digital copy. You can get that information in there in lots of different ways. So this is really useful for taking those notes and be able to find things later because inside this note this particular note has a lot of the word performance in it. So if I come up here and search for performance, you're going to see that it pulls in the highlights for me any time that the word performance is in here, including when it's in the picture. It does a image recognition inside of all of those pictures that are in here and can pull that highlight that word for me so that I can help it, it helps me find it. Additionally, I can set tags for this. So in this case, I have three tags, Basic Models, Business Logic, and HPT. Those three tags are also searchable. So if I did a search for business, it would give me the results for Business Logic because that's what's there. So the search feature, being able to search both images and text is huge for me. And being able to find those things really helps me to keep myself organized as I move from device to device. So let's look now at the web interface. This is the web interface. Same way, looks very similar. I have my notebooks over here. These are my notes. And this is the content of those notes. So as you can see, this is an identical list to the notebooks that are on my software. 
So I can go right here, find those notes for my grad class. Here's chapters one through three. There is the information from chapters one through three, that same picture that was back here in my software. So the fact that I can access it through a browser from anywhere really helps me out a lot. Now let's also take a look at these screenshots that I have from the iPad. First of all, when, when you open it up, there's, there's an interface that this has all my different notes. So I can select those different notes and then I can go into the actual notes and into an, a notebook in, in the interface. And this is what it looks like. And what happens is anytime I make a change on my iPad, it automatically updates both my software and the website. Same thing with my phone. If I access it from my phone, it will update wherever I am. So I have really this information hub inside of Evernote that lets me keep things current and access my information wherever I am and really allows me to access and interact with my information differently. The last thing that I want to tell you about with Evernote is the ability for you to share notebooks. So in this case I have a notebook that has a bunch of different resources here and what I can do with this is I can actually make this a web page and share it out online. It will give me a URL that I can then give to other people. So if I have notes of as a class I'm taking notes on a particular topic. Maybe it's on a field trip or if it's just a, maybe it's a lecture in class or notes on today's lesson. I could then share that with everybody else in my class either by sharing the notebook or by just creating this and making it an online web page. So it really provides me a lot of flexibility for both sharing and for organizing my information and it really keeps all of my stuff right where I need it, wherever I need it, whether it's my phone, a mobile device, the web, anytime I have an internet connection I can always get my information. So if you're interested in talking about, thinking about using Evernote with your students or just personally, I would be really happy to talk to you about how you can use this tool to organize yourself and bring this into your digital life. Thanks a lot.